Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so, Vulcan, so uh, if you are, if you, if you've been looking at the at the activity on the GitHub repository, you'd have noticed maybe that um, we are trying to make a push on uh, trying to get Desktop VK released. So, uh, Desktop VK is going to be the next generation backend equivalent to a current Desktop GL. And we hope that it's going to supersede it and uh, to be the better version version of it and the one that will be able to uh, build upon more easily. So uh, the most part of it has been made by Tom and uh, is also lately, uh, I mean, uh, previously he refactored it to make it into a native backend. So it's kind of the test of the whole thing. So uh, it's going to be the premiere of our new native backend and also a next generation uh, backend of all. So working on macOS, Linux, and Windows. And uh, currently, there is a few issues that are still blocking uh, its way for release, but we are getting very close. There is only two issues that are really quite hairy and requires some some knowledge, some very deep knowledge of Vulkan. And uh, so we are going to tackle this slightly internally because uh, it's it's slightly behind uh, the knowledge of what we can support on a bounty. And we also want to push it real quick. Um, so maybe the bounty process is going to be a bit too slow in the process. So trying to get uh, Vulkan out soon, uh, it's almost done. Um, it works. Uh, there is only like something like a, a, a pesky uh, graphical uh, issue and just some compatibility to work on. But for the most part, it works. Uh, for the people who are brave enough, uh, they can already try to build it and use it. So it works. But we want to make sure that it's all good in all edges. And uh, so... If you want to follow the progress, there is an issue on the repository that is called Road to Release Dickstock BK. And you can follow uh, what's going on there. And uh, so you'll see that there are only a couple of issues. I've added some emojis of flames next to them, which are basically the hotspots. And all the other issues are going to likely be tackled in a more conventional way and easier way. but. So just waiting for these two to clear. And uh, once they are cleared, we can maybe co start coding it today and uh, start packaging it and start raising it. So no schedule for now, but uh, it's likely one of the closest that is has ever been. And that's pretty much what I can say. Cool. Yeah, Vulcan's exciting. That's something that we've been pushing for for a while. You know, I'll disclose that that Vulcan code was originally written for Stadia back in the day when Stadia was a thing. Um, and uh, it was my first attempt at Vulcan, so there was definitely some bugs baked in there from that time. That project never finished, so it kind of was in the state that it was. And, you know, it's it's in a lot better shape now, so we're getting very close to a point where it is shippable. So that that'll be an important part for us moving forward. Um, and uh, now that Vulcan is getting close, we're going to, you know, I, I think in the movement of some of the Vulcan stuff, Tomas, I think that we broke a couple things, possibly in DX. So, uh, and I know that I've had some some feedback from people on the console side on some DX stuff on DX12 specifically. So uh, I'll spend be spending some time revisiting the DX12 stuff. So that hopefully we can, uh, you know, get that up to speed as well. And then we'll have two brand new backends, Vulkan and DX12, you know, which, you know, Vulkan will get you to all desktop platforms and DX12 is mainly for Xbox and Windows only. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty great to have that there. 